Hi everybody and welcome to another video of the channel. Today I'd like to spend a couple of minutes talking about this Masters of the Universe Origins action figure, He-Man. Right, so other than the nostalgic appeal uh, from the 1980s collection, it's a tremendously successful collection of action figures, vehicles and playsets from Mattel, We've got here uh, this new rendition of a most popular character, the most popular character in the toy line, He-Man himself. Right, so those of you who have already watched a couple of videos on my channel know that in as much as this collection goes, uh, I like to keep them inside their original blisters because of its, you know, nostalgic appeal to the original ones that came out in the 80s. Um, so this guy remains tucked inside his, you know, plastic, I'm not going to call it a prison, plastic case. Uh, what I do have, in fact, here is the original one, okay, the 1981 He-Man. Right, so as far as things go, so in the most recent years, this particular toy line has seen an incremental increase in the prices which are being asked for and paid, I should add, on the secondary market. Uh, you know, the, the, the prices on these vary according to the state in which the, the action figure is. As you can see, this one is in absolutely pristine condition, okay? So, the only thing that has changed throughout the years is the slight discoloring in the limbs, both the legs and the arms. Other than that, there is no chip in the paintwork, okay? The hair is perfectly flawless, you know, the boots, everything is as it should be. The spring mechanism that rotates his hip is working 100%. That, in terms of its success, it comes with all of them. Okay, so this is pretty much a C9, perhaps even more C9.5 in a grading scale of 1 to 10. And I don't know if you know this or not, but in flea markets and secondary markets, these figures have become, you know, rarer and rarer. And when they do appear, sellers ask for as much as five years for each one of these accessories. So usually uh, when you find a figure, it comes without the accessories. Uh, Quite often it comes without the, his harness too, um, and when you've got these accessories for sale, sellers sell these for, you know, five years a pop. As much as the figure itself in these conditions, well, quite frankly, I haven't seen one like this in quite some time now. Uh, the ones that appear are, you know, first of all, they're all dirtied up, you know, and then they're missing lots of paint, you know, his, you know, um, shorts are sometimes broken, his limbs are sometimes loose, which is not the case in this uh, particular example. So, I don't know how much it co this costs, I don't know how much this is worth. I know that people on eBay are asking a ton of money for it. But, the main objective of this video wasn't to talk about the original He-Man from the Masters of the Universe toy line. Ah, by the way, I forgot something. Um, this is interesting for me because these were originally made in Europe. So this one is from 1981 and it was made right here in Spain, next to where we are right now. So I've heard some people complaining about the face of the new He-Man because it didn't correspond exactly to the freight to the face of its original counterpart. Guess what? It's not supposed to, from my perspective. They obviously did a revamp on the whole figure, you know, as what happens in this original toy line, this origins toy line story. It's got articulation in terms of the knees and the elbows, um, and obviously it's going to have differences, different sculpt. They didn't just limit to use the old mold. So, but it's still quite recognizable, okay? I mean, there is no doubt that we're talking about He-Man over here. 
One thing I have to complain about is the distribution. Okay, Mattel, as well as many other brands, I'm thinking quite uh, clearly on Hasbro, has difficulty in, you know, um, getting its products to retailers here. You have to pre-order these, you have to pre-order these in advance, and you have to do that quite early because these sell out, you know, very fast, and it's hard to get them again. Um, you know, even specialty stores, like the ones I use to buy my action figures, they only bring a limited um, amount of these. I can tell you that I'm waiting for Grayskull for, you know, I don't know, about half a year, I would say, from the moment I, you know, initially pre-ordered it, and it hasn't arrived yet. Yeah, it's, it's, it's you know, complicated. I know that this particular toy line doesn't really appeal to young kids anymore. Um, I know that Netflix is going to put out a couple of series and perhaps then the, this toy line particularly and the other one that Mattel is releasing with a much more up-to-date version of these characters. Perhaps they're going to sell out better when these series come out, but so far it's tremendously difficult to get these in Portugal. Uh, much more so when, in my case, I you know absolutely want to have these blisters in pristine conditions. So I don't want to see any tears, any bends, because I plan to keep them, at least for the time being now, inside the, the blister. Let me just say that it comes. It also comes with a mini comic, such as the original ones came, and on the back of the card, we've got you know a little bit of artwork uh, and a cross sell for other characters, and you know just um, calling attention to the features that this one has. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm most happily um, you know surfing this nostalgic wave in what uh, Masters of the Universe is concerned. Right, you guys, that is a wrap. I will be seeing you guys soon, and it won't be soon enough. Take care, stay safe, stay strong.